this is a workout muse video all right so the workout muse uh, we use iPods iPod touches at each location and the workout muse is always there um, this is my phone but on your workout muse there'll be two buttons here so that one on the left right here will be um, the music app and then one here will be the workout muse app so you just click into the workout muse app and then this will come up so you got three different screens and I'll include some screenshots down below so you can see this a little better I know it's not very clear uh, but white you never touch yellow it says pre-workout that is the workout or the warm-up okay so you just click on that it should never change so it should be work period 50 seconds, rest period 10 seconds, um, total rounds 10. Uh, you never want to change that because that is what we are set at. Um, if we do change it, I will send you a specific email chain letting you know of the changes. Um, so it should be set to 50, 10, 10 rounds. It can be more than 10 rounds. It just doesn't matter. Um, so to turn that on, turn the warm-up on, you just click that button, turns it on. Once it's fit, then you hit the start button, you'll start the warm-up, and then you go explain what the first warm-up exercise is. This comes on, it'll tell them when to start, halfway, and when to stop each round. Crank it in five, four, three, two, one, go. Okay. And then the music will start, and then it'll, they'll start doing their warm-up. And then once the warm-up is finished, all ten rounds, you just go over and hit the stop button that'll stop it and then you want to turn the warm-up off okay then to set up the workouts the flows for the day you go into the green the number of workouts is what this is so um, how you set that up is how many times how many times does it change times so how many times does the interval time change so if we start off with the Tabata 2010 for eight rounds, then we go to a 30-30 circuit, then we go to a 40-20 circuit. So I'm switching times there three times. So you would set the workouts for number of workouts for three, and then you would set up the times here. So I said the first one, so work period is always the first one. I set that first one up for 2010. Okay, whoops. So first one's work period, second one is rest period. Set that up for 10 seconds. All right. And then the rounds. So we'll do eight rounds for that Tabata circuit. First one, hit done. The transition period, uh, that's the one you have to really think about. Um, so I usually put the transition period in there if I want it. Um, but if it's not in there, it's typically 45 seconds to 75 seconds. Um, and I'll indicate obviously if there's more or less but typical rest period is between 45 and 75 seconds but what you have to remember on the transition period is whatever the rest period is it's gonna add that to the last round of the circuit so if it's an eight circuit eight exercise circuit um, that last round is gonna give them an additional 10 seconds so if I want the rest period to be 70 seconds I don't set up the transition period to be um, 1 minute and 10 seconds, I just set it up to be 10 seconds, because whatever the transition period, it's going to add the rest period. All right. So another example, if I wanted the rest period to be 2 minutes and the rest period was now 30 seconds, I would set the transition period up to be 90 seconds, and that would give them a total of 2 minutes transition time between that between the end of that one and the next one. Okay, so hopefully that's not too confusing. I'll try and explain it a little better in the blog post down below. Um, so you set up the transition period. We've got one minute transition duration. You don't have to worry about that. You can't even click on it. Cycles, that means how many times are they gonna go through that? So how many times are, gonna, are they gonna go through the Tabata circle of 20 on, 10 off? So they're just gonna do one time, okay? Um, and, and total duration would be five minutes. You don't worry about any of the durations. And then music, that's always set. Don't worry about that. So music's right there, but don't worry about it ever. 
Okay, and then you set up the next workout. So I said the next one would be 30 on, 30 off. So we set 30 work period, 30 rest period. We'll leave it at eight rounds. Transition period, um, I want it 45 seconds before the next one. So I'll set the transition period for 15 seconds. Because remember, the rest period is already 30, so I'm just going to add another 15 seconds to make it 45 seconds. Um, and then total cycles one, and then last, the last workout is going to be 40, 20. So set that to 40. Rest period to 20. Uh, total rounds to eight. And since this is the last one of the day, I don't even worry about the transition period. Okay, so that's how you set it up for the day. Um, typically, if you get good at using the workout muse, you can typically just change the time on the fly, which is what I usually do. Um, so I usually just set up the first circuit, and then once the once it ends, I'll hit stop, and then um, explain the next one or have them go into the next one. All right, but that's typically it uh, for different kinds of things. So like um, supersets, trisets, uh, quad sets, different kinds of things that we have, dice games, um, AMRAPs, as many rounds as possible. I will explain that better in the blog. Okay, uh, if you have any questions, leave a comment in the blog post. All right, otherwise, stay strong.